Tyler Perry here. Want to take you on a tour of Tyler Perry Studios. So hop in. Come on. Let's Appreciate go for a that, ride. man. I'm glad we get to go ride with him. But look at all this stuff, man. Like whatever you needed to film. You could look the plane. Remember I told you I about know. the plane? Tyler Perry I Studios a plane. is 330 acres in the heart of Atlanta. This was all Corbin so Pearson cool. Army Base. So 12 sound stages. We're getting ready for our big grand opening celebration. Where so we big. we will be dedicating these sound stages to a lot of people who have inspired and encouraged me over the years. Kubota Tractor. So you got Halle Berry Good here. For him. And Denzel Washington and Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah. Lots of things have been shot here. The Walking Dead, Black Panther shot here. First Man, Instant Family with Mark Wahlberg. This nice. is Maxine. Look at that. It's a whole neighborhood. Back lot where I shoot a few of my TV shows. Some of the fans of those shows will definitely recognize it's so smart some of these houses especially this neighborhood in particular from uh if loving you is wrong oh i gotta show you something this is medea's car didn't you pause she it for one second and i think he just said it with all these movies he's like renting the he doesn't oh. own them those aren't his movies right like he's no he's renting them out so he's getting paid a ton of money for yeah. people to come and film their big productions all the time. on his set all the time it's and it's brilliant but it's think about it it's not only just the little town but it's a town that's set up specifically for the electrical. So everywhere has a place to plug in your lights. There's, oh, yeah. There's, yeah. You it's don't have set to, up for filming. It's set up for filming. Yep. Like ceilings can move out of the way so you have your lighting. Yep. You got like right up the road is all the lighting and supplies and gaffing stuff you would oh, sure. ever need. Sound and all this stuff. And so you're going into a town not just looking like a town, but it's built to film in. And that's way different. Walls mm -hmm. can move, mm -hmm. things can adjust, lights can, you know, we've, we've lights are, lights are, uh, excuse me, the, um, some of the windows are tinted uh -huh. so that when you're filming inside, it's not blowing out the lights. So it's, it's brilliant. How many like Airbnbs have we rented to film within? <sighs> and then to spend money to get yeah. it ready. Yeah. Like, and then it's just, you're, you're like working around weird corners and angles and like yeah. having to move furniture and like cramming a whole mm -hmm. crew of people into a small spot to get get the shot that you need. Yeah, that'd be amazing to just have it set up and ready for you. He, look at this, this is funny. Car. She would say- Medea's car. This is my 1974 Cadillac, and I bought it in 74 <laughs> and hadn't had maintenance on it since. But if you notice the luxury plastic on the seat, you see if you, if you are architectural digest, this is what wrong people are architectural digest. They don't know how to put plastic on their furniture. They buy all that nice shit, spend all that money <laughs> on all that nice shit, but they don't know how to put no plastic on their furniture. Put plastic on all your shit. Thank you. <laughs> it's funny. For me, it's a dream Look at that facility. For comes to work here. That's like the office buildings. Yeah. But inside of this building, and I, I kind of cut the video short because it goes on for like 12 minutes, but inside of there, there's hospitals, there's a church, there's a hotel. If you want it to look like a hotel, you go down this hall. If you want it to look like a hospital hall, you go down this hall. If you want to, if it looks like a church, you go down this area. Mm. There's rooms, there's hotels, and it's all, it's brilliant. Mm. And people rent it out all the time because it's not real, but it looks real. And it's set up and it's designed specifically for filming. And, and Atlanta, Atlanta is this huge hub for, for filming, right? I mean, over the last like Yeah, five, a lot of it five, because of this years. guy. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I mean, mm. obviously, there was the commission of Georgia really making the tax deductions for people to move in, come in. There was people before that, but he was among the first to take really big advantage of it. So there's some challenges in the industry that I think you're going to cover now with, yeah. with some of but the before, changes. But let's, talk, gonna, let's talk about the White House. you going to show us the White House on the property? The man has his own replica of the White House. I would just sit in that Oval Office and just pretend to be president all the yeah. time. Yeah. Bomb that shit. <laughs> Kill that motherfucker. <laughs> like, like, raise the taxes. <laughs> I mean, I think I think you I think you nailed it. That's about all you need, right? That, yeah, that's all, what all the presidents do. <sighs> now I'm going to show you the White House. Welcome to the White House. He's like, I got my own White House. So, still a lot of cleaning being done here, but. Uh... That's crazy. That's so cool. Let's go upstairs. This is the 80% 80 of the actual White House in Washington, D.C. Not 50, so 80%. For my new show called The Oval on BET. And we're really proud of how it turned out. The residence of the White House, famous iconic window here. President's bedroom. Some hell has gone on in this room over the last episodes. Oh, we've done some everything in here. This is the daughter's room. This is the son's room. We built this about five, five and a half months ago. We started it. This is the only White House that's ever been built 
at a studio on a lot, and we are really excited about it. That's brilliant because every which way you point is it looks looks like the White House. So I there have been stories. I, I have obviously no way of knowing this or verifying this, but I have heard people talk about how there's um, around the country m- multiple duplicates of the Oval Office. Mm-hmm. So that in times of national emergency, um, the president can essentially address the nation from what appears to be the White House so without like disclosing a location. Did he get funded from the government to make this? Well, I, I would make sense, buddy. It makes me wonder if there's not some ongoing contract anyway to where it's like, mm. hey, you are now and you're you're a pretty you know damn near pretty close replica. Um, pretty accurate depiction of, of the Oval Office, or like a passable replica, to where in times of national emergency, like it could be used. I, I don't know. It's just probably awesome. not. It's probably it's a that semi would be cool. semi secure site. It's obviously not like a bunker underground. But hey, thanks for watching this clip. If you want to see the full podcast, be sure to click on the link in the description. And if you feel like it, hit subscribe. <laughs>